hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing on how to cook this lovely and easy edika crumb soup if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so guys let's get started so guys here i have my meat my pomo my perinko my pepe and my onions my palm oil my crayfish my smoked fish you can choose to use any fish you like my ogo and my water leaf i have my salt and my seasoning cube i'm going to be putting my meat into the pot and i'll be adding two seasoning cube salt i'm going to be adding my onions At this moment, I'm not going to add water, so I'll just turn. Cover, then I'll leave it for five minutes and I'll be right back. While I'm waiting for the meat to get cooked for five minutes, I'm going to be blending my pepper, my onions, and my crayfish together. I'll be right back. As you can see, the water I added into it is not much. So I'm still going to leave it for extra 5 minutes and I'll be right back guys. So now it's time for me to add my blended pepper mix. I'm going to allow the water to dry a bit the reason why I'm allowing the water to dry a bit is because of the water leaf as the name goes water leaf it has a lot of water so I'm going to allow it to dry a bit I'm going to allow the water to dry a bit guys before I start putting the rest of the things into the soup guys after five minutes I'm going to be adding my hormone now I'm going to be adding my palm oil Guys, please note, always add your palm oil first. Here that I've added, it's going to cook for a while. Then after this, I'm going to be adding my water leaf. Wow. So guys, as you can see, it has dried up. So as you can see, it's thick. There's no water anymore now I'm going to be adding my water leaf at this moment I'm not going to turn this soup I'll just cover it This is what it's looking like that plain to water leaf. Now I'm adding my perinko. So after adding my perinko, I'm going to turn my soup. Now I'm going to be adding my ugo that my pumpkin leaf. So after adding it, I'm going to cover it up just the way I did for the water leaf. Wow. So now I'm going to be turning this soup. So I'm done turning this soup. I'm going to be adding my fish. Then I will turn. So guys, my soup is ready. You can still choose to add more of red oil if you like. I don't like my soup to be that 
oily 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 thing i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but i like my soup just the way it is guys before i forget you know i talked about water as you can see i didn't add any water to this soup I was looking as if i added water that's because of the water leaves so mind the kind of water you put in your meat while cooking it please be careful while putting water when you're cooking your meat so guys before i forget always check your soup for taste please as for me i did not add any other seasoning cube to this soup i only use the one i use in for boiling the meat because i'm not the kind of type that likes too much salt in the soup so i'm going to turn off the gas now and this is what my soup is looking at oh this is what my soup is looking like guys Now I'm going to be dishing the soup. There's water, but it's not too watery. And you guys see. So we are done with our soup. this is what our soup is looking like guys we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload my next video please drop your comment in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next video thank you